Hello there. My name is Charles Clarkson. I am the project director of a federally funded program called the Senior Medicare Patrol of New Jersey. Every state has a Senior Medicare Patrol, and our job is to help fight Medicare fraud, waste, and abuse. So today, I'm going to talk to you about some scams that we currently are seeing in Medicare. So if you know what to look for, hopefully you will not be taken advantage of. But before I get started, let's go over how much Medicare fraud costs all of us. Every year, Medicare estimates that they lose about $60 billion a year to fraud, waste, and abuse. That is a large number. And who's paying for that? Well, all of us. We as a taxpayer pay for this Medicare fraud, waste, and abuse. So it's our job to help fight it so we can save money. Because if the money goes to fraud, it doesn't go to legitimate services offered by Medicare. So we see a lot of scams in Medicare. And with the pandemic, we've seen a number of new ones. So I'm going to go over some of the current scams that we are seeing. The biggest scam that we are seeing and has been going on for a number of years is genetic testing. You might get a call from someone who says they're from Medicare and says that your doctor has ordered a genetic test. Or the call may come from a lab who says your doctor has ordered a genetic test because of your health conditions. Well, that's a scam. Your doctor probably didn't even hear about this, never heard of genetic testing in this issue, and therefore you're being taken advantage of. So remember, this is an expensive test. It can cost $9,000 to $13,000. And if Medicare denies the claim, they're going to go after you to collect their money. So remember that scam, genetic testing ordered by your doctor. The next scam that we are seeing is telemedicine. You know, during the pandemic, the government wanted to give greater access to everybody because they were really not leaving their houses or their apartments or their homes to go see a doctor. So they allowed doctors to offer telemedicine Private plans were giving greater access to telemedicine. But that has also turned into a scam. If you get a call or an email saying that a private practice is offering you telemedicine service, it may be legitimate, but why would you do it? They don't know you. They don't know your history. They don't know your medical conditions. If you don't want to leave your house or apartment and go to see your doctor, well then call your doctor. See if they will offer you a telemedicine. Because why, why would you go to somebody who doesn't know you? Another scam I want to talk about is hospice. You know, Medicare has a program for people who have less than six months to live, and this is certified by their doctor and they get services, and usually it's at home. But remember, hospice is meant to be palliative, not curative. That means you will not be treated for your disease to try to make you better. You will be treated to make your life more comfortable. So we are seeing scams where people are being put into hospice care erroneously without their consent. So if this happens to you, and this can be very, very health damaging because you will no longer be treated for your disease. Please call the Senior Medicare Patrol and tell us about this and let us help you fight to get back onto original Medicare and be treated to cure your Ill ailments. The next thing is COVID. You know, during the last three years, there's been an emergency pandemic and many rules have been changed. I want to make note to you that many people now can get COVID-19 at-home tests from Medicare at a participating provider like a pharmacy or something like that. But you have to look it up 
and find out where they're being offered. You can get eight tests a month per individual every month. So you don't have to pay for COVID-19 home care kits if you're on Medicare, okay? And also, COVID testing should not cost you anything. You can go at least one time for free without a doctor's prescription, and thereafter, if you get a doctor's prescription, it won't cost you any money. So don't, but don't get hoodwinked by people charging you $150 to $200 for a COVID-19 test. Please, this is your money, it's valuable, and it doesn't have to cost you anything. We are also seeing scams that are continuous in nature, but this time with a little twist. It's the Medicare card. You know, two or three years ago, Medicare issued new cards to all Medicare beneficiaries. And this change basically removed the Social Security number from the card in order to help fight Medicare fraud, waste, and abuse. So in the past, if you lost your card or your number was compromised, you could get a new card, but they would use the same Social Security number, so it didn't really help very much. Now, it's a randomly generated number in letters. So if your card is compromised, you can get a new card and a new number from Medicare. Just like a credit card. If I lost my credit card, I'd call up my credit card company and they would say, okay, we'll cancel the card, send you a new one with a new number. Well, we can now do that in Medicare. Now, one of the things that happens is that most Medicare fraud, waste, and abuse happens over the telephone. So let's talk about what you should do with your telephone. Most people now have telephones with pads, which would show them the number that's calling. Rule number one, rule number two, rule number three. If you don't recognize the number on the telephone, don't pick up the phone because 99% of the time it's a scam or solicitation. And if you don't pick up the phone, you'll notice that they don't leave a message. So don't pick up the phone if you don't recognize the number. Now, if you do recognize the number, fine, pick it up. Also, if you do pick up the phone and you realize it's a solicitation, don't start talking to the representative on the other end of the phone. They're trying to get personal information from you. So please don't fall for that. Now let's talk about the most common frauds in Medicare in addition to some of the scams that we are seeing. Number one is billing for services never provided. So when you get a statement from Medicare or from your private insurance company, like an explanation of benefits, please take the time to read it. Because if you don't read it, any mistakes or scams or billing that you didn't get, they're gonna get away with it. So, and I know that these statements can be long and complicated, but really, take the time to read it. And if you suspect fraud, please call Medicare or you can call the Senior Medicare Patrol of New Jersey if you live in New Jersey or any other Senior Medicare Patrol depending on what state you live in. Our number is 732-777-1940 and we're a free service. We have volunteers. Our job is to help you fight Medicare fraud, waste, and abuse. Now I talked about services never provided. The second most common fraud is upcoding. If I went to my doctor because I fell and I hurt my wrist, my doctor might say to me, you know, Charles, I think it's broken, but it's very swollen, go get an x-ray. So I go get an x-ray. But when they bill, they don't bill for an x-ray, they bill for a CAT scan, a higher value code, or they bill for an MRI a higher value code. Again, another reason to read your Medicare statements thoroughly. 
And the third thing I want to talk about is double billing. You know, people think that Medicare would know that they are being double billed. But remember, there are a lot of tests and conditions that require multiple visits to the doctor or test. So it doesn't necessarily follow that Medicare will know that you're being double billed for the same service. So if you see a double billing, call your doctor and say, hey, doc, this is incorrect. I want this corrected. Now, if you call the doctor's office and you speak to the billing department and they're not helpful, again, call the Senior Medicare Patrol of New Jersey at 732-777-1940. We are housed at the Jewish Family Services in Middlesex County in North Brunswick, and let us help you. We are a free service, and we get results. So thank you for listening. And by the way, even if you don't think it's fraud, call us anyway. We're very, very good in helping you answer any questions related to Medicare. So thank you for listening, and have a wonderful day.